Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I quickly want to go over the has record function, which basically just shows uh, existence of a record in a Xano database table based on a field lookup. So if I go to the function stack and add something new and go to database request, we can see there's has record. So it finds out if a record exists and we can choose what table we want to look through. So let's go ahead and select the user table. And this, re or this has record function opens up. You can see an in inputs. Uh, it says find user record by field. So the field name is going to be one of the fields in that user table or whatever table we select. It's going to be defaulted to your primary ID field, but you can hit the drop down and Xana will pull in all the different fields from that database table. So for example, my user table, I could look up by any of these fields created at name, email, password, etc. So let's actually just do the ID field here. Field value is actually going to be that value we're looking for on that field. So that's typically dynamic. In this use case, I might add an input, but it could also come from a variable in your function stack. So let's go ahead and select user here. And now let's go back into our has record and just do a user ID lookup. So now if I go and run this, we can see for user one, it will return a true value, meaning that record exists. Uh, if I did something like 77, I don't have that. So that returns a false value. Now, typically a has record might be followed up by uh, some kind of conditional logic where you might say um, if the return variable, so user underscore one equals true or equals false, then do X, Y, and Z, else do ABC.